beautiful Pisces, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for February 2018. So before I jump in here Pisces, I gotta say thank you to my friends over at Hair Entourage, giving me this cute little piece to work with while I'm growing my hair out. And I wanted to share that with you guys, so if you're interested in hair, other pieces, anything like that, you have hair care related questions, check out my friends at Hair Entourage, I put all of their details in the description box down below, and of course the um, details on this piece alone as well. So. All right, Pisces, oh, what a beautiful month. You've got Venus, Mercury, the sun, everybody moving into your sign as we get into this month, giving you just a beautiful boost of magnetism, grace, confidence, also um, beautifying. You may be in a position where you're ready to take on a new look or something like that, right? You're ready to present yourself differently to the world, and it's definitely going to have that sense of Venetian beauty and magnetism to it for sure. The other thing I think that this is really great for having Venus move into your sign is that um, I do feel like there are portions of your world, especially hidden pieces that you've been making peace with or that you will be working on and you presenting a harmonious front to that is really going to mean a lot, right? If you've had things happening in this kind of background anxiety place for you and now you're seeing that you don't need to carry those anymore and you can present yourself to these people, places, and things differently, it really helps to make you the change agent, the healing agent in your own life and in the places that you're showing up at. So I think that this is just a really wonderfully healing time for you because we've also got a solar eclipse happening in Aquarius, which is just one sign ahead of you. So putting this in the 12th house for you. So I know you're doing some spiritual house cleaning here, right? There are some things and some connections and things like that that you will be letting go of so that you can start fresh. As well, you may still have a project that you're working on behind the scenes, but I really feel like for so many Pisces, even as I just check in energetically on it, I just feel like you guys are emptying out right? Like we don't need to travel with this. You can't travel far, fast, and wide when you've got all the baggage. So I feel like a lot of things have been illuminated. Some of those things that have certainly been illuminated, I think, came with the lunar eclipse that happened January 31st. And this happened in the sign of Leo, lighting up your sixth house. So certainly things around co-workers. If you've had ish with your co-workers, this may be a time where this, this eclipse let you know that you've got to come into some harmony at work, or you've got to address what's going on with co-workers. Maybe you don't have the skills that you need to continue on at a job and this showed you, hey, here's the next set of skills you need. And new, those will be continue to be illuminated over this month and you'll be able to take action to move towards those. The other things I was looking at for you, Pisces, are your daily routine. If your daily routine has been off, if you've been slumping, you haven't really been practicing your practice or whatever that looks like, this could have helped to um, bring you into a new balance where you see you need to start something else. And of course, the other very big area is health. And there's so much, I think, around um, mental health for you going on right now, Pisces, because there have been so many feels, you know what I mean? But you're also growing so much more confidently, especially over this last five years, certainly over this last year and a half, that I feel like the health here is about changing checking in on this mental health place, right? Like what, what kind of mental constipation have you had going on that this lunar eclipse kind of came in and went, boop, get that out of here. We don't need that. Or gave you space to look around and evaluate what it is that you're keeping in your head that's also translating into your body, right? And I think the space of how does this translate in the body? What's this um, mind, body, spirit connection to, to abundance and also to illness? This, I think, really starts to show up and become more apparent to you and for you all through February, really, because you've got, at first, you've got the sun, Mercury, and Venus all up here in Aquarius. So they're still working the 12th house. So you do still have some action here. And then when we get to the 15th, we'll have an eclipse where I think whatever you've learned, whatever you've been willing to take action on, you can put in place and start to clean out that that quieter side of your world, okay? So let's jump in Pisces and let's just take a look at this month by date and talk through that a little bit. So right at the beginning of the month here on the 10th, we have got um, Venus taking this move into Pisces, into your sign, bringing you magnetism, really making you magnetic and attracting people to you. Now Venus being here as well, we always wanna be mindful that if you are single, you could be pulling in something romantic, right? You certainly could be pulling in a romantic partnership. So um, 
at at least a date, if nothing else. You know, if this is not the forever partnership, it could certainly be um, a date of some kind. Now, for some of you, too, with Venus being here, I do feel like some of you may opt for, and this would be a good time, opt for um, some kind of cosmetic procedure. You know, if you've been waiting to get the new chi-chis, because you know we're not doing that in June. Um, if you've been waiting to get the new chi-chis or whatever it is, um, this could be the time where you are you're doing that. Because Venus is also, she likes to treat herself. She likes a little luxury. She likes to beautify. So that could be something that's going on as well. Now, as we get to the 15th of the month, we've got the solar eclipse happening in Aquarius, making connection to Uranus. So also very, um, it's a lot of Uranian energy, but it's happening in your 12th house. And this is where I say, I feel like one, you get solutions that maybe you weren't thinking of. Two, I think you blow yourself open for, um, a spiritual experience or a spiritual awakening and it is based on you seeing that there are some things that you cannot hold on to anymore if you have these um really self-defeating negative attitudes if you've not been spending money well or keeping up with that if you've got unhealthy emotional attachments if you're still holding on from stuff from the past let me tell you what it is time to let those things go but i think that you do that very willingly with this energy it's your fresh start to something new now something else that can be happening with this solar eclipse is that if you are a researcher or you're looking for something metaphysical investigative hidden right you want to identify something hidden this is a wonderful energy where you could start to see these things coming out and uranus in the mix shakes it up and says here here's an unexpected twist right whatever is happening though in this 12th house whether it's research whether it's meditation whether it's letting go whatever is happening in the 12th house forgiveness and compassion and grace are going to be the keywords for you to work with here as well as innovation let's start to look at this differently now, when we get to the 17th of the month through the end of the month, I do feel like big life changing decisions like signing a contract that you would be in for years gets really questionable to do that. I think you have space to take some very creative, forgiving, gentle action, but big decisions I feel like really need to wait if they can. And that is because on the 17th, we have Mercury move into your sign, into Pisces. And while this is wonderful, and I feel like you yourself have the opportunity to communicate a little bit more and be really received well mercury's actually in fall in your sign he's pretty uncomfortable here because he wants to be quick he wants to be sharp he wants to be specific he wants to just get to it and get out and that is not pisces energy that's not neptunian energy right neptunian energy can be a little bit vague and right now you're not only going to be a little bit vague right because that is the nature of this energy but you also have venus here so you could be very blissed out and it's a good place don't let anybody take your pink cloud you tell him i said to leave your pink cloud alone you need to be in this creative space right but mercury may not be helping you see all of the details you need to make the very best decision that you can around something but lean into the creativity here express yourself go speak to people speak forgiveness speak abundance into the life of other people and to yourself and allow this mental space up here for you to also be uplifted and beautified okay clean out that hair space get on a mental diet on the 18th, the sun comes into your sign. So happy birthday, Pisces. Woo -woo. Okay, we begin your new solar journey for the year, which is phenomenal. When we get to the 25th, we see Mercury coming into an alignment with Neptune again. This alignment is beautiful because it is just so good for speaking creativity and compassion into the world, right? New compassionate thought process. But on the 28th, we also see Mercury in a square to Mars. So now your action and mind, your action and attitude might not be completely in alignment. You could have frustrating conversation here. You know, maybe you're trying to express something and, and someone's not receiving it very well. Maybe you have to speak up for yourself in a way that requires you to be much more aggressive and assertive than you're necessarily comfortable with. And I'm not just saying that because it's gentle Pisces energy. I'm saying genuinely, we each have that point of, oh my God, I'm kind of uncomfortable but i need to speak up for myself and you may find yourself in some of that as we get to the end of the month and maybe what that looks like is hey this relationship is unhealthy i can't be in it anymore right whatever it is this whole month is shrouded in a lot of love a lot of beautification and a lot of forgiveness and compassion so i look forward to seeing what you do with it i did want to tell you too 
Pay attention this month with all this Uranian energy going on. It's a very electric, stimulating energy. So if you feel overstimulated, if the lights seem too bright, feel free to bring your shades out, right? Put it down. It's not about escaping. It is about toning it down, though, because you can be overstimulated, and then that's not helpful for you at all either. All right, Pisces, I look forward to seeing you in $3 Thursdays happening this month where we will be talking about transits as they relate to the natal chart. So I hope to see you in there studying with us. As well, I've got my brand new Astrology 101 class. It's reformatted. And because it's reformatted, now you can take all five weeks for this session only for 50 bucks so jump in everything is in the description box down below or you can come see me at stormygrace.com and get involved come join come tribe up come learn come teach us what you know as well all right like this video comment share subscribe pisces and i'll see you in march bye